In this Lords of the Fallen video, I bring you 20 plus secret items you might have missed. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so in this video, there are three areas we cover. They are the Imperium, via the Vestige of Arella the Cursed Knight, the Path of the Devotion Memorial, and a path between the Skyrest Bridge all the way up to the Vestige at the Upper Carruth. Now all items will be timestamped below and I've already covered many areas already in previous videos, all of which I will also link down below guys. So let's get into this. So starting within the Imperium area at the Vestige of the Orello the Cursed Knight, from here we will grab the Enhanced Banner Javelin of Assault, uh, the Bountiful Ring, a saintly quintessence which is always helpful as well as the imperial church key which will go on to fight the boss of this area now what i will say is getting into that church you have to take a route around the top of the building it can be a bit of a pain in the backside i'm not gonna lie but if you copy what i do you can ignore most of the ads but if you do what i do guys you should get it done Once you grab these items guys, as long as you ain't bothered about your Viger, you want to make your way back to that Vestige point or even if you die, forget your Viger and spawn back at that Vestige point. From this point guys, we're going to go up to the church door. So here I wouldn't worry about the ads on your way up to this church door, just run straight past them. Once you open a church door, you get a cutscene, you can then go into it guys and as we progress on a little further, there is a anchor between uh, realms you can put down, which I would recommend you do. There's a boss fight here, which you want to get done for sure. So do what you got to do here, guys. Get to that boss fight.
So once you've put that anchor between realms down guys, go on to the boss who is Judge Cleric Radiant Sentinel, who can be pretty difficult, but you want to get her out of the way for sure. And don't forget to get that remembrance. Okay, so from this boss fight, guys, we're going to make our way back to the building we just come from, the church, and grab the enhanced holy grenade, and then go back to that anchor between realms, because we're going to warp out of here. Okay, so now onto the path of the Devotion Memorial Area. This is the vestige of the Dieter. The first items we're going to grab here, guys, are the Anvil Hammer as well as the Dimension Missile. Okay, so from this point, guys, we're going to grab the Umbra Eye of Loche, I believe that's pronounced, the Hungry Knot, the Enhanced Lump Hammer, which is absolutely brutal, as well as the Enhanced Radiant Burst Parchment. Now, there will be quite a few enemies in your path. Some you will have to take out. That's why there's a lot of cutting in the footage you are seeing, but hopefully it's clear enough for you. But do what you got to do, guys, and go get these items. Make sure you pick up that enhanced lump hammer because this thing is utterly broke.
Okay, so you'll get to this point, guys, and there's probably going to be no path forward to you at this point. There's a good chance you may have to cleanse a few more beacons before you can progress any further this way. And this is why, guys, we backtrack from now and we go back to the Sky Rest Vestige. Here we will make our way to a new area. Going back towards that first player fight, towards the Light Reaper boss fight, and ultimately the vestige of the Forgotten Guardian. And there is plenty of loot along the way, people. Now, the first few bits you'll pick up are the Muff Ring as well as the Calvary Pendant. The Pendant you can't really miss, but the Muff Ring, which is actually pretty cool, it raises your Vyga gains. This one can be easily missed. I actually got it by accident and you'll see that on screen when we come to that point. So do as you do guys and get these items. From this point guys, we're going to go on to grab the Umbro Eye of the Bloody Pilgrim, the Melted Dark Crusader Sword, the Grave Ward Fog, the Cursed Dart, and the Noble Woman Armor, as well as the Kalrath Guardsman Armor. Pretty cool, so don't miss these things.
Now, as you jump down to this area, guys, I won't lie, it's a little sketchy down here. I mean, I died probably three times just trying to avoid things blowing up. But hey, I got there in the end. So do be super careful. There's an armor set down here as well as a couple of other good items you don't want to miss. So do what you got to do here. Now depending on your playthrough this boss may not be here, he may appear once if he kills you he won't reappear or he may be indefinitely here like he was for me so I had unlimited attempts in taking him out. But hey he's pretty difficult I won't lie but either or guys if he's here or not the loot you can obtain from the surrounding areas stays the same. But make sure you activate this anchor between realms as well guys, especially if you want to take this boss on, if that choice is there. Now if the boss is here for you and you take him out, don't forget to grab his remembrance. From here guys, it's probably wise to ignore this uh, anchor between seas if you don't have to spare seas because you don't really need them. There's an anchor right nearby here. But hey, from this point either or guys, we're going to backtrack on ourselves and we're going to grab the Rogar or your flask. So do what you got to do here people. I will say this is an item you can grab before the boss fight, it's just I beat the boss. So I went to cleanse the beacon and found it on my way. Now once you do cleanse this beacon, if that is what you're doing here guys, once you reappear from the cutscene cinematic, you will be at the last anchor you activated, the one before the boss fight or the one inside of the boss fight. But from here guys, we're going to progress past that boss fight area and grab a few more items. Starting with the Oathbreaker die, the Blacksmith's Pride, the Queen Verena 2's ring and then progress on to the vestige of the Forgotten Guardsman.
and lastly for today's video guys from this vestige we're going to go and fight another boss who appears right outside this area the boss is called the iron wayfarer and from him you get the iron wayfarer's hammer so do what you gotta do guys he is an easy boss fight it shouldn't be too difficult for you i mean if you got past a light reaper this dude is no problem whatsoever but there we have it guys for another video again i've covered many other areas already in this game you'll find those videos linked down below if there is a specific area you're looking for loot within or if there's a specific item you're looking for i may have already covered it again check out those videos linked down below but guys if you did enjoy this video leaving a like really helps me out if you're new around here and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one